good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. And we're bringing you guys life gain fitness. For some of y'all out there, it is thought season. Y'all love going to the beach looking good. But my overall message for fitness is just getting in shape so that you can have a healthy, productive quality of life. Yes, it's good to look good so you can take your shirt off on the beach. And, you know, we always want to do these things this time of the year. But more importantly, it's just that you are being healthy. And considering I'm someone that weighed 350 and I'm down now to 199, I want to give you guys some of my fat loss tools that I use to overcome that burden. A lot of y'all know that I started out a heavy baby. I popped out my mama's womb 14 pounds and some ounces, and it was a mess. I had childhood asthma, which led to a perpetual behavior that kept me overweight and obese. I got emotionally attached to food, and that was my escape for everything. One day, I got with a good coach, Will Powell, shout out to him. He taught me everything I needed to know, but at the same time, I kept a dialogue of what helped. So I'm gonna give you guys those tips. You want to get a notebook so that you can keep up with all the things you are doing. That would be my number one. I've got my little notebook right here that I'm taking my notes from, giving them to you guys. Get yourself a good notebook, and as you start implementing things in your diet, you write it down. You write down what you ate on your cheat meal day. You write down the activities you've done day to day. You need a good notebook so that when you start looking back on your history of fitness, you'll know things that worked and what didn't. Number two is get yourself an app that can track your food. I love Fat Secret. That seems to be the easiest one. But there's tons of others out there. There's My Fitness Pal. There's a bunch of them. And what you might be surprised to know is that you might eat so many calories, especially when you do fast food, you, it shock your mind. Did y'all know that one fortune cookie from any type of Chinese restaurant is between 250 to 400 calories? When I met my wife and she was starting to get behind me with my fitness, she didn't know that. And she would go into a Chinese shop and pop about 10 cookies while she's waiting for her food. That's a thousand calories. And she didn't know it because she never researched what was in it. So get yourself a good app that can help you track your macronutrients and that'll take you a long ways. My next tool is one that's free. It's open to anybody and that is Plan in your fitness schedule opportunities to go outside and walk, run, or jog and get off that treadmill. A treadmill is never going to simulate the type of activity that the inclines, the planes, the terrain of being outdoors is going to simulate. And that is also a good time for you to clear your mind and think and focus on life. Some of the best ideas I've ever had in my life have come from me just exercising outside and that's absolutely free. Just make sure that you do it with a little bit of intensity so that you are always striving and making your body have to adapt. So if you have to start walking, walk. Next time, do the same distance and try to walk and jog. And then next time, do the same thing and just try to jog. So outdoors is definitely a tool of fat loss. Next on my list is cooking. And I'm not the gourmet chef. I'm not the chef on South Park. I couldn't cook when I first started this thing, but you know what helped me out? A George Foreman and a good blender. I now have a George Foreman uh, and a Vitamix, and I cook on the grill a lot. So some of y'all might not be able to do the outdoor grill cooking, but you can get a George Foreman. The George Foreman is gonna brown any meat. That's all you gotta do. Flip it, look at it, open it. If it's brown and the center is cooked, you good to go. Any meat, slap it up there. There you go. And for people that like protein shakes, you know, you want to get your vegetables in. Having a blender blend up vegetables into your shake is another great tool to have on this quest. And you can get those things pretty cheap too. Check my Amazon link. I've got both of those in there if you want to find a good deal on them. Another thing that you might want to have that I used to have, but they're more advanced nowadays, some kind of a fitness watch. All I had back in my day was a watch to track my heart rate because I wanted to make sure I was staying in my fat burning zone or higher. Nowadays, you get a watch that'll track your heart rate, it'll track your children, it'll look at your home, it'll lump you in the fitness groups. I mean, these watches do everything nowadays. Man, if I had them back in my day. But get you one of those. You don't gotta spend a lot of money on that either. 
you can get one for about 50 bucks or what may have you. Again, check my Amazon store link to track one of those. And here's another one that I didn't really mention, but you are gonna wanna need it. And it would probably be a subcategory under the George Foreman blender, food containers. You've got to get yourself some containers for your food so that you can meal prep for more than three days. You want to probably meal prep out about three to five days because there's going to be days on this journey. This journey is not linear. There are going to be ups and downs. And there are going to be days on this journey when you've had a long day, you've been stressed at work, you've had bad news and you're driving home and you don't feel like eating healthy. And if you don't have something prepared, you are going to succumb to those smells that smack you in the face and in the nose on your way home. McDonald's, Wendy's, KFC, those smells are going to smack you in the face and you are going to succumb because food is not just food. Oftentimes food winds up becoming comfort and we're trying to help you guys overcome those barriers. And the best way to do that is have everything in place so that you know you got your food at home and you can overcome that barrier. And so those are my tips and tools to help you on your fat loss journey. And if you're still looking for a coach that can help you on that fat loss journey, I'm here for you. I'm trying to help as many people this year make those life gains and fitness as I possibly can. Hit me up at www.facebook.com forward slash life gains 07 to get some one-on-one. -on -one. I can get you a plan going, help you set you out on your goals. It'll be the best $30 of your life. And if you're in the triad area of North Carolina, you can work with me directly, one-on-one, -on -one, and we can see if we can make this thing happen for you. Do videos if you like, so that you can see your progress. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Check my video description box for everything I mentioned in this video. And let's see if we can help you get those life game fitness goals going in 2018. Until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.